and imagine the mentality of a Roman aristocrat, a person of power in Roman society, their physics is drawn from democracy and atomism. Uh, in other words, they are thoroughgoing materialists. Their social theory is drawn from Epictetus and Plato. They are, in fact, extremely modern people by our own standards. However, among the gardeners and kitchen help and stable boys, there is news of a momentous event in the Middle East. A Jewish rabbi has triumphed over death and risen after three days in the tomb. Should the master of a Roman household have caught wind of this kind of uh, uh, superstitious talk among the help, he would have just dismissed it with a sneer. What a preposterous idea. And it is a preposterous idea. Nevertheless, the fact that an idea is preposterous has never held it back from making zealous converts. And within 120 years after the annunciation of the birth of Christianity, its missionaries were beating on the gates of Rome attempting to convert the emperor. Now I see a similar situation in the modern context that rationalism, scientific technology, which began and came out of uh, the scholasticism of the Middle Ages and the quite legitimate wish to glorify God through an appreciation of his natural world, turned into a kind of demonic pact, a kind of descent into the underworld, a nekeia, if you will, leading to the present cultural and political impasse that involves massive stockpiles of atomic weapons, huge propagandized populations cut off from any knowledge of their real histories, uh, male-dominated organizations plying their message of uh, lethal destruction and inevitable historical advance. And into this situation comes suddenly an anomaly, something which cannot be explained. I believe that that is the purpose of the UFO, to inject uncertainty into the male-dominated, paternalistic, rational, solar myth under which we are suffering. <clears throat> so, I suppose if you had to categorize this point of view, you would say I'm taking a depth psychological, psychoanalytic point of view. What I'm saying is that the UFO is nothing more than an assertion of herself by the goddess into history, saying to science, and paternalistically uh, governed and driven organizations, you have gone far enough. We are going to turn the world upside down. Your science is going to be shown up for what it is, nothing more than a pleasant metaphor usefully extrapolated into the production of toys for healthy children. That's what science is good for. It is not some meta-theory at whose feet every point of view from astrology to acupressure to channeling need be laid to have the hand of science announce thumbs up or thumbs down. 